You have the right to remain silent. You ain't taking me in, cop! Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney presence during questioning. Thank you, cop! If you do not afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. You know who I am, huh? Do you understand the rights that I've just given you? Maria's having second thoughts. Maria, you can't go soft on me. Do you want him to hit you again? No. You have to press charges. It's the only way you'll ever stop. This is Unit 22. We have a 211 in progress. There's got to be at least two. Give me a minute. Go. Deliveries. Listen, I'm running a little late. Mind if I get on with it? Don't worry. You're done. Peacemaker? Hey, get back off. Who are you, huh? I'm a cop. Who the hell are you? Peacemaker. From the mission. Terrific. Get in there. Come on. Get in there. Come on. Motherfucker. Come on. Get your hands behind your head. Hey, everyone. Peacemaker got him. You see that? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Get out, you're dead. Oh. 
With just four weeks to go until the election, it appears that Dr. Larkin has scored yet another point with the voters. Behind her are the peacemakers from the mission of justice who have prevented yet another crime in our troubled city. This latest incident at a local liquor store. And here is the woman responsible for it all, Dr. Rachel K. Larkin. Thank you very much. But the credit should go to the man who foiled the robbery. Let me introduce you to Jimmy Parker. Jimmy? Two years ago, he was a gang member. Today, he's one of our most promising peacemakers. Yesterday's troubled youth has become today's hero. And what do you attribute your success to, Doctor? The mission of justice teaches self-awareness and inner strength through positive motivation and discipline. Elect me, and the streets of Eastgate will be clean in a month. Thank you very much. Thank you. Here comes trouble. Where's Harris? Uh, at his locker, sir. Congratulations, Harris. It's a problem, Sergeant. You, Mr. Marshall Law, you and your fancy techniques. You let a peacemaker say to your ass last night, now it's all over the news. Why don't you give it a rest? If you can't do the job yourself, what in the hell are you doing here? That's a good question, Sergeant. And to top it off, you pinched my best snitch. What? Damon, you're lucky I was able to get him released before they moved him downtown. You what? Hey, hey. Hey, Harris, get your ass back here. I'm not through with you. Hey! Should cut back on the coffee. Stay yourself. Duncan, let him go. Shit! think you're doing you just bought yourself too much suspension mister <laughs> is it Kurt? you crazy son of a bitch you're out of here i'm already gone you should have checked with us sergeant what for your snitch just killed his girlfriend Hey, Steele, you taking a tour or what? You can't quit because of the sergeant. Not just Duncan, it's everything. The lawyers, the judges, the whole fucking system. We're supposed to stop the bad guys, not process them. Now we've been hated by the same people we're supposed to protect. It's everything, Lynn. I've had it. Kurt, you're a good cop. Can't do his fucking job. Kurt, wait! Deal. Looks like you're gonna need a new partner. Jeez. All right, get up, Craig, and keep your hands up and your chin down. We missed you at the mission, Cedric. And you weren't at Dr. Larkin's press conference. I had other business. But the doctor needs your support. How many times have I got to tell you, Peter? I am through with that damn mission. But I don't understand, Cedric. The doctor has printed up new campaign posters. Give me that. Tell the doctor that if she uses my name again, she's gonna regret it. Now get out of here.
Hey, Cedric. You still got that lethal right hook, I see. <laughs> over and right. <laughs> How you hanging, Curtis? Better than your friend over there. Uh, just working off some steam. Hey, what brings you down to the neighborhood? Stress related? Yeah, I know what you mean. But you came to the right place. Tell me what's wrong. Quit the force. Ah. Hey. Warn me before you drop the next bomb. <sighs> Blew it, right? I knew what I was doing. What are you gonna do now? I don't know. I think I saw him. How's right, your money? Fine. Don't be shy. I hit the exacto last night. Don't worry about it. Come on. Come on. Thanks. These kids all, all think of boxing as old hat. They all want to learn karate. You come in, you teach them. You help me, you help yourself, and you help the kids. It's good for everybody. Let me think about it. So how are you feeling now? Uh, oh, I feel a lot better. Good. So you're going to tell me what you got against this heavy bag? Oh, it's that damn mission. I thought you were a big supporter. I was. They do a lot of good in the neighborhood. So what happened? Let's just say I disagree with some of Dr. Larkin's tactics. Like? Like, I quit there three months ago and she's still using my name. You quit? Why'd you quit? I'll tell you about it tomorrow. I got to do the books. All right? Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, right. Hey, thanks for the workout, huh? All right. Oh! Yo, Jimmy. Hey. Yeah, champ? Let's call it a night. OK. Hey, still got time for a shower? Sure. Hey, champ. Yeah? I just want to say thanks for letting me still work out here. Hey, Jimmy, whatever happened between me and Dr. Larkin, it's got nothing to do with you. You just keep your hands up and your chin down, OK? You got it, champ. I don't appreciate having to leave the comfort of my mission, Cedric. Nobody asked you to. Samuel tells me you have not been feeling yourself lately. That really concerns me. Spare me, Larkin. You don't care about anyone but yourself. We have an agreement, Cedric, remember? I agreed to nothing. I would hate to think what would happen to you if certain things were made public. Get out of my gym. I do believe you know my brother Titus. You will honor the doctor's wishes. Okay, Titus. I'm gonna give you a shot at my title. Come on. I'll show you what made me the heavyweight champion of the world. to the 
champ. Here's we have a new champ. Titus. Please reconsider, Cedric. We are your family. You are not my family. Oh. Then you leave me no other choice but to terminate our relationship. the next life, Cedric. Make sure the place is secured tonight. No civilians inside. No problem. What's going on? What are you doing here? Kurt, I'm sorry. It's Cedric. They took him away. Ambulance? No. What happened? Looks like a robbery that went sour. I want to take a look around. No civilians. Oh, relax, Winger. Sergeant's orders. I'll tell the sergeant what he can do with his orders. Easy, Kurt. You know the procedure, Harris. Screw you, Winger. Kurt! I'll keep you posted, OK? I will be with the doctor. Yeah, okay, thanks. 
Dr. Larkin. I've been expecting you, Roger. How are the contributions coming? Well, Cedric's final donation certainly helped. Thank you. Bless him. And I think we'll get more out of him as a martyr. I've already ordered another 10,000 posters. Like I've always said, Roger, a rainbow often follows the storm. I figured you'd be back. What happened, Lynn? The cash box was found busted open. According to a ledger, it contained about 5,000 cash. Cedric always keeps that kind of money around. You hit the exacta. 30 to 1. Who else knew about his winnings? When Cedric had it, he spread it around. You got any witnesses? None yet. Must have given him a hell of a fight. Too good a fight, Kurt. He broke his hands and slit his throat. <sighs> oh, Christ. I'm sorry. movie continues after this election message. Hello, I'm Dr. Larkin. I'd like you to join my campaign against crime. Last night, Cedric Williams, one of my organization's most valued members, was brutally murdered. This is just another example of the cancer that plagues our streets. Vote for me, and together we can bring our city back to its former glory. Thank you. The proceeding has been a paid political announcement <laughs> to elect Dr. Larkin. Proposition M will put a cap on your property tax bill. The politicians don't want it. The bureaucrats don't want it. But the people want it. Stop freewheeling government spending. Vote yes on Proposition M. Paid for by the People's Tax Revolt and the East Gate Voters League. We will return to our movie presentation in just a moment. Please stay tuned. In the strength, my friend, that's the secret to my success. However, our goal is to provide you with the tools necessary for you to bring about the betterment of society. But you must learn discipline first, because that's the key to all success. This is very enlightening, Dr. Larkin, but how do you see your teachings as the foundation? Greetings, brother. How may I help you? I'd like to learn more about the mission. Splendid. And why don't you follow me to my office? Looking first for more themselves, and consequently for more from their elected officials. Took forever just to make bail. Not one of them was a decent lawyer. All night at Rag Hotel. Well, did you find him? Yeah. Where's Jerry? In the fucking hospital. Our mission has helped thousands of people in all walks of life, but as with all things, one can expect only what they put in. Oh, I agree. So, what is it you do for a living, Mr. Harris? Uh, at present, I'm unemployed. Do you have any special skills, um, such as computers or sales? 
Not exactly. Well, I'm sure we can do something for you with the mission, Mr. Harris. If you'll complete this questionnaire, I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Greetings, brother. Can I help you? <laughs> yeah! You can help us. We got a message for the peacemakers. <laughs> Let go of me! We're not through with you yet, pal. <laughs> Aren't you the guy from the liquor store? I, uh, believe I found a place for you in the mission, Mr. Harris. I never doubted you would. Last night's eulogy increased your support in the polls by 10%. That's all? I thought you'd be pleased. Two weeks, Roger. That's all we've got. Well, I can buy more airtime, but it's going to be expensive. We've got followers waiting with deep pockets, Roger. So let's get it moving. The days are getting shorter. Well, first we have Flora Parker, the one with a sizable piece of property on 6th and Arbor. My dearest Flora, how are you? Dr. Larkin! I saw you and my grandson Jimmy on the news, and I've never been so proud. Well, he's a fine young man. How are you feeling, Flora? How's the arthritis? Better, thank you. She's responding well. My analysis shows that she's improving. I'm so glad to hear that. Make sure she gets all the attention she needs. You're all so good to me. Well, Flora, we're here to help you. We're your family. Oh, bless you. Bless you, Doctor. Has she drawn up her will yet? Soon. Well, get on with it, Aaron. I'll make sure I get my handkerchief back. Excuse me, Dr. Larkin. It's very important that I speak with you. Samuel, what has happened to you? My chapter was just attacked. Robbery? Oh, they tried to get the donations, but they didn't. Thank goodness. Are you going to be all right? Yes. Well, thanks to Mr. Harris here, he fought off four men. Actually, it was only three. Much gratitude, Mr. Harris. He wants to join our mission. I hope this unfortunate incident has not tarnished your impression of our mission. If anything, it's made me more sympathetic to you guys. I was going to go have a walk in the garden. Why don't you join me and I'll show you the facilities along the way. I'd be honored. Uh, <clears throat> doctor, the rest of our schedule? Later, Roger. I'm going to want to see his data sheet. Certainly, Mr. Stockwell. Some come here to find solitude from the harsh world outside, while others try to find the strength and the discipline to face it. What brings you to our mission, Mr. Harris? I'd like to help keep the city a safe place to live. We're the peacemakers. From what I hear, you'd make a fine one. Oh, well, you might say I've had prior experience. I used to be a police officer for a number of years. So you're telling me you're no longer affiliated with the department? I resigned. All right, Mr. Harris, let's see what you've got. 12000 in the bank, one car loan paid in full. Good. Let's check the credit report. Uh-oh, red flag. That guy's a cop. In the Mission Garden, we find a connection with nature in the midst of the city, but that is only a part of our way. It is the strength of the mind, the body, and the spirit that unites our family. I'm quite impressed, Doctor. Excuse me, Mr. Harris, I have another matter of appearance. Of course. It's been a pleasure. Likewise. Welcome to our mission. What's so urgent, Roger? Harris is a police officer. He's a former police officer, actually. You already knew? Mm -hmm. He claims to have resigned. But of course, I expect you both to verify that. Consider it done. And if he's working undercover, I will terminate him. But of course you will, my sweet brother. But think about how this can benefit our campaign. An Eastgate police officer decides to work with me. 
rather than mere Haldeman. Not bad, huh? Excellent angle, Doctor. This is Lynn again. What are you doing? I can tell you. He's in La La Land, Steele. Go ahead and hack the real world. Keep a close eye on him. Is this valet parking? Our feature will continue after these messages. Hello, I'm Dr. Larkin. I'd like you to join my campaign against crime. With the election coming, remember your vote. Why did you turn Dr. Larkin off, Jimmy? Oh, it's not much on Gramps, you know. There's something you're not telling me, young man. Why haven't you been going to the mission lately? I look, Gramps. Don't go having no heart attacks on me, all right? But I'm thinking about quitting. What? After all Dr. Larkin's done for us. Oh, come on, Gramps. What has she done for us? Are you forgetting the trouble you were in before you joined the mission? Jimmy, what has gotten into you? Yeah. Name's Kurt Harris. Aaron Miller. I'm an analyst here. Is that so? Story checks out. Wonderful. The official report is that he assaulted his sergeant. But I'm not sure. Well, we'll know soon enough, Roger. This hold is impossible to break. I thought the same. Please demonstrate. One good move does not make a peacemaker, Mr. Harris. Exactly what does. Several members of our family have displayed great strength in their training. Tonight they wish to become peacemakers. However, only the strongest will survive our rites of passage. And so, let it begin. the next contender, please. Yes. 
previously, these men lacked the discipline needed to join the ranks of our peacemakers. Mr. Harris, I must warn you, once you enter the gauntlet, you cannot turn back. Step aside, Titus. Akira, let him pass. Welcome to my inner sanctum, Mr. Harris. I give you Kurt Harris, our newest peacemaker. How's it going? Good. Why'd you join the peacemaker, Sal? Oh, my neighborhood was falling apart. I just wanted to help. And the mission gave you that chance? Well, they didn't give me a chance. I mean, I had to earn it just like you did. That's the whole thing with Dr. Larkin. I mean, she gives you the motivation, the discipline. It's all in her books, man. You got any family? Nah. My folks are all gone. Mission's all I got. They give me something I can believe in. Why are you wearing the ribbon? Poor uh, Cedric Williams. Any word on what happened? Well, they say it was robbery. This way. Got to check up on another peacemaker. He's been missing all of his patrols. Election news. The latest polls indicate Dr. Rachel K. Larkin of the Mission of Justice. Jimmy, look who's here. Sal and one of the fellas from the mission. What's your name? Kurt Harris. Kurt Harris. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Sal. Let you boys talk. Thanks, Rams. What are you doing here? He's a peacemaker, man. No, he's a cop, Sal. Not anymore, Jimmy. Great. Terrific. Do you hear about the way he busted the gauntlet? Where you been, anyway? Well, Grams has been sick lately, so... Grams has been what? How you feeling, Miss Parker? Good enough to push this 
He used to make a right out the door. Come on, buddy, boy. It's nice meeting you, Curry. Nice to meet you too, Mrs. Parker. You boys be careful now. You know, this really is an honor. We rarely see you on the streets anymore, Sergeant. PR, Steele. PR. So what do you want with the mission? Justice, Jimmy, don't we all? Yeah, right. We have a report of a possible narcotic transaction in progress. Location is in the alley west of 4th and West. Unit 22, please respond. Roger, Unit 22 en route. Unit 16, proceed to 4th and Webb to back up Unit 22. 4th and Webb, four blocks up this way. Let's do it, man. Time to make that peace. Showtime, buddy. Oh, yes. It's got the bomb here, brother. It's gonna make it hard. I like doing business with you, man. It's cool. And that's good. Freeze! Let me see your hands! Now, what's going on, man? Shut up! Put it down! Easy. Legs apart, hands on your head! Do it, Chinaman! I'm Korean, man. He's Chinese. Hello! Meet Uzi. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What the hell you think you're doing, Harris? I'd say saving your ass. A little gratitude with hurt, Sergeant. What the hell happened? Damn you, Harris. So, are you a peacemaker now? I need a job. Come off it. What's going on? I think the mission's behind Cedric's murder. What? What motive? Cedric was an asset. He wanted out, they wouldn't let him go. You'll need more than that. I'm working on it. Let's roll and steal. So, things going pretty good with Duncan, huh? <laughs> Very funny. Keep you posted. Make sure you do. Y'all set? Yeah. Where's Jimmy? He went home. I'm headed back to the mission. You coming? Yeah, sure. How is Flora coming along? I'm close. Turn up the voltage, Aaron. I need that property. Yes, Doctor. Mr. Harris is back. Get him in the office at once. I want to know everything about him. I plan on it. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, Mr. Harris, I was just looking for you. Can you come with me, please?
This is standard procedure for all our new members. Feels like a polygraph test. Actually, it's a form of biofeedback. By monitoring your body's reactions to different stimuli, we can teach you how to control your own health and well-being. Yeah, right. Don't be alarmed if you feel a slight tingling from the electrical current. I see you mourning the champ. Yes, he was a generous man. You know him well? Years. In fact, I introduced him to the mission. But let's get back to you. I have a few questions. How old Why you is he you? asking about Cedric? I don't know. And Everybody asked about Cedric. Are you recording this? Is yeah. Where you first Good. You know, I practiced all my life. I was I'm going to go see Dr. Larkin. I also understand you worked for a special division of the police department. Yeah, martial law. Do you regret leaving the force? Not in the least. Interesting. So far, so good? Just fine. So tell me, Aaron, how'd you come to work for the mission? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Harris. This old building has occasional electrical surges. That'll be enough for today, Aaron. I'd like to speak with Mr. Harris myself. Yes, Doctor. You had quite a successful day, Mr. Harris. I feel a part of something here. I feel motivated. Yes, it seems we work well together. I'm getting kind of tired. Do you uh, mind if I spend the night at the mission? Absolutely not. This is your home. I've got big plans for you, Mr. Harris. I hope you can live up to them. You can count on it. Sweet dreams, then. Watch him closely. No problem.
Here we are. Here we are. Where have you been? One of the monitors blacked out. I went to check the camera. There is nothing wrong with the monitors. I'm certain there was. Thank you. Oh my. Gracias. Thank you. Remember, vote Larkin. Thank you. We only got an hour to get the parts, and we gotta get them out of here. Now move it. And you, don't chop this one. Just paint it. We gotta get it to Mexico by morning. What are you, a moron? Don't answer the door with a gun. You got bolts in your head? Greetings, brother. The doctor's asking each of her supporters for an additional donation this month. You tell that hack doctor she ain't squeezing another red set out of us. Gino, throw this preppy looking moron out of here. The doctor will hear of this insolence. Dr. Larkin's prized peacemaker finally returns home. Inside. He wagered on your title bout? It wasn't really a gamble. I knew I'd stomp on him. But isn't that illegal? Hey, I never threw that or any other fight. It takes a lot of sweat and blood to become the heavyweight champ. Relax, Cedric. Don't tell anybody else about this, okay? I take away my belt. We're your family, Cedric. Your secret is safe with us. I knew they had something on him. The boxing Commission would have stripped him of his title. We're showing this to the captain. Not a chance. Cedric died to possess a secret, and I'll be damned if I'll let it out. I guess it doesn't prove anything anyway. Well, I hope you came here with something better. Someone was seen running from Cedric's gym the night of the murder. Description? Male, tall, slim, thought he might be black. Slim guy couldn't take Cedric. Yeah, but maybe he saw who did. I went through a list of the gym's members. About 16 guys fit that description. One of them's a peacemaker, Jimmy Parker. You know him? As a matter of fact, I do. Flora's finally drawn up her will. Splendid, Aaron. Thank you. Well, once you're elected mayor, we can rezone the property. It'll be worth millions. Well, then, first things first, Roger. How are we doing in the polls? We're dead even. And Holliman's holding strong. I'm afraid we're going to need a breakthrough. Dr. Larkin, Samuel Taylor wishes to speak to you. Send him in. Excuse me, doctor. I was just assaulted at Eastgate Automotive. I don't understand. To be honest, I believe they're running an illegal operation. Are you sure? I'm almost certain. We must do something. Titus, have the peacemakers to care of this at once. Right away. Sorry to have troubled you, Doctor. Not at all, Samuel. You serve our mission well. Thank you so much. Thanks to you. Titus, shut them down and have our wonderful Mr. Harris be in charge of the operation. I'll take care of it. Now, Roger, 
What about that breakthrough? I'm sure the press would like to know about this. I'm already on it. I'll need an extra guy for this. Take that and go get Jimmy. Hey, glad you can make it, Jimmy. Did I have a choice? You know, you've developed quite an attitude. Man, fuck you, all right? What are we waiting for, guys? Let's shut him down. All right, but we do it my way. Jimmy, up the back. Duncan. Yes, sir. What? Where? Who is this? Winger, Polzine, grab your gear. Janowski, take over one. All right, you take the upper window, I'll take the front door. Get the door, don't put the ball on this time. What are you looking at? Time to close up shop, boys. Nah, why don't we just take a little break?
There's a lot of charges. We'll talk downtown. Let's go. The sergeant went for a bait like a train seal. Just as I thought. Well, it's a clear case of harassment. I mean, that's what the Eastgate Daily Herald is saying. Look, police versus peace. My headline, by the way. And what's our next step? If we were to bail them out, say, tomorrow afternoon, I could uh, arrange for expansive media coverage. Good thinking. Excellent. And Aaron, with Jimmy in jail, Flora will be left all alone. You're absolutely right, Doctor. I think we should go ease her pain. Definitely. Come on, just make it easy on yourself, pal. Cell ain't getting any bigger, Jimmy. That's a hell of a right hook you got there, Jimmy. Did you learn a box like that? City jail. That's all? How long have you been training there? About a year. Hey, man, why don't you sit down? You're making me dizzy. Heart attacks happen so unexpectedly. Dr. Larkin, Dr. Larkin, would you like to comment on the arrest? We fight for justice, and this is our reward? It's an outrage. Just one more example of the misguided leadership of Mayor Haldeman. No, sir. Yes, sir. I'll get right on it, sir. What should we do, Sergeant? Release them. Release them? They were breaking the law. Shut up, Blinger. Just get them out of here. Now! Yes, sir.
Cedric Williams do? Excellent work, gentlemen. Soon I will become the new mayor of Eastgate. It'll be a cold day in hell before I work for you, lady. You won't be working for me directly, Sergeant. I plan on putting Mr. Harris in charge of this division. So please step aside. I have an election to do. Man, this guy's so great. I can't believe it. You should have seen him put down the sergeant. Well done, Mr. Harris. Really well done. With you at my side, there is no telling how far we can go. Hey, Jimmy. I gotta go. Jimmy, why don't you come with us? It's on the way. Oh, no, that's okay. I'd, I'd rather walk. I could use the fresh air. Well, in that case, send my love to your grandmother, would you? I will. Are you coming, Mr. Harris? It's good. Dr. Larkin. Dr. Larkin, I need to speak with you. Cedric's tape proves absolutely nothing, Roger. Harris took it. We found it in his apartment. And this. He's been conning us the whole time. His time has come. Yes, but this must be done properly. Mr. Harris, Mr. Harris. I'm glad I caught you. We need some additional equipment for tonight's ceremony. It's at this address. Thanks. Mistake. You made a mistake, now don't move! Code 30, officer down. Escape suspect to former police officer Kurt Aaron. Gotta call off the APB. I can't do that, Steele. Harris isn't a murderer. You know that as well as I do. I don't know Kurt anymore, Rand. Don't 
even breathe. Easy, Jimmy. I just came to talk. Bullshit! You work for Logan and I know it. I'm a friend of Cedric's. Now why don't you just put the gun down? Fuck you! Logan set me up for murder. Every cop in this city is after me and probably the peacemakers too. Now I need your help, damn it! Welcome to the club. They just killed my grandmother. Why? New Will. Just signed the life away. Gave him everything. That's all right. That's not it. He killed Cedric, too. You saw it, didn't you? Yeah. I'm the only one that can stop her. What do you want me to do? I need you to testify. What? It's the only way. Are you crazy? It's my one chance. Here's two. You gotta do it, man. All right. I'll do it. Get him. He's a cop killer. Don't get him. Mr. Harris came to us, a very troubled man. I wish we could have had more time to help him. Where is Dr. Lockheed? She's very upset about the entire matter. She had high hopes for Mr. Harris. We all did. I'd like to speak with her myself, if you don't mind. I can assure you, officer, Dr. Larkin is just as determined to find Mr. Harris as you. Thanks for your cooperation. for Duncan's murder. You believe that? No, but they sure do. We read about the witness and saw them kill Cedric. Jimmy Parker? Yeah. Where is he? In the mission. I'm calling for backup. No, no. Don't stop me. What are you going to do? I got a plan, but I need your help. Let's go. Get the hell off me! Shut up! What's your problem, huh? Relax, Jimmy. We just need to know what you've been telling people. Hey, Dave. Hey, what's going on with the ceremony? Not much. Thanks. Cold. Yeah, I know. It's going to be cold. Huh? 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 Learn a new hole. Keep trying, big guy. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh. Uh. How are we gonna get inside? Same way we got over the wall. Cedric and my grandmother. Interesting accusations, Jimmy. Why would you say that? This is where they make the videos? find out what we need to know. The ballots are in, Doctor. Congratulations. Thank you, Roger. This is just the beginning. Come on, Jimmy. Who else have you told? <laughs> Go to hell. Jimmy. It's a new dawn in our city of escape. Fighting citizens feel trapped in their homes. And very importantly, 
Finally, once again, Eastgate is ours. It's yours and your children's. Wait back here. And I'm very proud to say that our campaign against crime has just begun. Seize him. He's a murderer. Stop, wait. It's not Kurt. It's her. She's a murderer. I saw her kill Cedric Williams. Don't listen to him. His grandmother just passed away. He's greatly disturbed. Over, Lark. Give it up. No. No, it's not over yet. Yes, it is. Ask your pal. Well, I hate to be the one who says I told you so, but. Uh... Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Kurt? Partner? to remain silent. Anything you say, Cannon, will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney present during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Do you understand all the rights that I've just given you?
happens. Does this mean we're going to study? I'll tell you what, I traded him for my badge. Welcome back, partner. Got it. 